Chelsea Fernandez. Chelsea, good evening! Good evening, Tita! Na-corner na naman kita. The last time na nag-abot tayo, uh, medyo nagmamadali ka doon. Sabi ng mga tao, bakit ang konti lang ng airtime ni Chelsea? May favoritism pa? Chelsea, paki-explain. Ano bang sitwasyon natin sa Binibining Pilipinas nung send-off mo? Kasi, need po na meron pa sila briefing sa amin. So, una po akong nahila. Kaya wala akong chance na yung kapag with other media bloggers. Sorry. But we have already interviewed you. We've Okay, so Chelsea, um, you've spoken to a number of media folks today. Today was your send-off. What's your feeling na before you were competing in Binibining Pilipinas, you had a meet and greet with the press? But I'm not there. I'm here right now. How does it feel though that now you've already attended your meeting Send off. Tapos ikaw na mismo ang sini send off namin. Kita, um, the feeling is so indescribable. Parang before you're just part of the audience, and then kita may kita mo lang sila. But today, ikaw na yung interview, and the feeling is so indescribable talaga kita. Kasi halu-halu siya, eh. and yung excitement, and at the same time yung kaba. But of course, lumalamang yung gratefulness ko in my heart that I was able to, to carry, I mean, I was given the chance to carry a Philippine sash, and of course, hindi po natin sasayangin yung binigay na opportunity. Chelsea, take us back to when you started in pageantry. Was that a school pageant? Was this something na parang you did parang extracurricular activity lang? How was that start for you? Well, Tita, before, nakikita ko lang talaga siya on television. Uh -huh. And ito naman talaga, eh, pag pagbata ko, ano yung nakikita mo, nakapansin mo, parang yun yung tendency na nanggagaya mo. So, siguro, hindi ko lang siya matandaan, specific na pageant na napanood ko. But I think I was 8 years old that time. Uh -huh. Napanood ako ng first ever pageant on television, and then I joined many pageants. It's a school-based pageant. Where I never won a medal. Oh, interesting! Yes, in a school-based pageant. Okay. Talaga, Chelsea. May kaganda pa ba yon sa late? Ano yon? Austin, promise. Tapos na wala na ako ng pag-asa. My mom was there to guide me and to cheer me up. Sabi niya, anak, ano mo? Di ka pa magaling. So please continue your dream. So in 2015, Tita, I get, I got my first ever crown. Pero hindi na siya school-based pageant. Okay. So first ever crown pa siya, and then makukonsider ko talaga siya na doon nag-start yung pageantry career. So I think na-mention ko na to before in my different interviews, ang host note that time was the new boy of the <laughs> Oo nga, napanood ko nga ito. Tama. Kasi when, um, of course, we know you from your Miss Earth stint and then you took a little bit to cover. Loka ka, ang ganda mo dun ah. Ang ganda-ganda mo dun. Um, I think naikwento ko ko yun. Hindi ko lang alam kung saang uh, appearance or saang event ko siya nakwento. Kasi kasama ko yung mga media friends ko noon. Meron kaming kinocover na event noon. And then we were covering two events that one day, hindi namin makuntahan lahat. So we were like, ano na nangyari sa Miss Earth? Ano na nangyari sa Miss Earth? Because we were so sure you were going to win that crown. So I particularly remember that taxi ride with Edge and Jay and I, I forgot who else. Um, silip kami ng silip. May, may data kami sa kotse. Silip kami ng silip. Tapos ako, ayoko na sumilip kay Chelsea na ibibigay. Because Miss Earth was one of the most, if not the, um, pageant na parang madali naman i-predict. So, hindi yon nag-work in your favor. But, I think that nabigyan ka ng recall because of that. So, moving forward, now na papunta ka na dun sa Binibini journey mo, now na isi-send off ka na, kailan nang alis mo, Chelsea? Ang tita actually, bukas na po dapat. Bukas. Sa BPCI, decided to move it on October 1. Kasi po, yung connecting flight, parang hindi available. So, buti na lang po, the Miss Globe Organization, parang naglaan sila ng 4 days para pumunta yung mga candidates in advance. So, pasok pa rin naman po tayo. So, hindi pa rin po tayo late. Okay, so yun yung importante. Yes po, nag-start na sila. Mag-start na sila on September 30. Pero hanggang October 4 naman yung arrival ng candidates. So, pasok pa rin po tayo. Pasok tayo. Yes po. Well, the reason why I ask this was because, syempre mag-iimpake ka na. Syempre busy ka na niyan. 
meron ka bang moment dito sa craziness between today and then a few hours from now na parang maiisip mo medyo malayo-layo na yung narating mo sa pageant? Okay, <laughs> diba? Diba? Yes, Tita. Um, that's true, Tita. Kung, kung iisipin ko lang before, parang, grabe, I just started in a school-based pageant and never akong nanalo. Tapos, may kita ko na, wow, bibigyan ako ng chance na magsuot ng Pilipinas sa hash. Siyempre, totoo yan. Kaba po talaga ng puso. Before City of Tacloban lang, lagi kong sinasabi, Chelsea Fernandez from City of Tacloban, paulit-ulit every year. But this year, wow, Philippines na yung isisigaw ko. Sobrang, ang saya, ang saya kita. Parang ngayon pa lang, feeling ko panalo na ako. Siguro, gets ko tong, um sentiment na to because... Of course, I also become friends with the other queens. Um, isa sa mga talagang nakakausap ko was Gabby Basiano. At hindi nalalayo yung journey ninyo ni Gabby. Alam ko na parang siya sa summer, ikaw sa late, ganun lang ang gawain ninyo, sasali lang kayo sa mga pageants. And Gabby also nasundan ko rin siya, just like Roberta Tamundong, very young in pageantry hanggang sa kung nasan na kayo ngayon. And of course, it makes me curious sometimes parang, do these girls have like a time out or a time off for themselves to just really realize, OMG, ang layo na nang narating ko! <laughs> yeah, that's true, Tita. Um, ngayon po, nag-reflect ako, nag-iisip ko yung mga, yung mga nagawa ko before and yung mga gagawin ko pa rin in the future. Kasi sabi ko, wow, I am in the right position na and I think I should use this. Kasi Tita naman, hindi naman ako forever nasa pageant eh. Totoo po yan, may, may time limit sa pageant. So sabi ko, habang andito pa ako, alam mo, nabibigyan ako ng mga opportunities. Why not take all of that opportunities tapos gamitin ko in the future? Chelsea, I'm going to ask you something na probably hindi na uungkat um, kapag nag-uusap tayo. But um, I think we have common friends uh, or we move in common circles. And then I remember writing something um, nung kandidata ka pa saying na, Sana yung mga candidates would find joy in what they did. I, I heard something that there was a point in your binibini journey that you parang iniisip mo, nagdo-double, like, like isip ka ng isip sa utak mo, and I felt that you were losing the joy in the competition. Am I on the right track with this? Yes po, that's true, Tita. I'm actually an overthinker. Mm -hmm. Sobra po talaga akong mag-overthink. Napakaliit na bagay, binibigdil ko dito. Okay. And I think, dapat yun yung mga, sabi yun, dapat, hindi ko dapat iniisip. Pero masyado kong iniisip. I don't know why. Hindi ko lang siya mapigilan. But I think yun dapat din yung i-correct ko eh. Sa self ko. Isa rin siguro yun sa mga witnesses ko. But I'm just so grateful that my pro media family and yung mismong family ko and friends and dyan para i-guide ako. Kasi I remember being a little worried before saying na parang baka masyado silang malungkot um, sa competition. Parang hindi naman maganda na sasaba ka sa binibining Pilipinas. Tapos parang ang bigat ng feeling mo, parang feeling mo you're not enough. Na-overcome na natin to Chelsea. <laughs> yes po, Tika. Na-overcome natin yan because of my family din. Na andyan para mag-guide sa akin, tumulong. Iniisip na nila, bakit ngayon ka pa susuko? Andyan ka na eh. Pangarap mo yan. Bakit mo susuko? So I'm just so grateful and blessed na grabe po talaga yung suporta ng family ko. Well, this one opens up the conversation on mental health. Kasi mas kakailanganin mo to lalo maglalaban ka sa Albania. Chelsea, hindi to kasing lapit ng Vietnam or Thailand. This is a totally different terrain, a totally different country, different culture. Uh, Pwede mo bang i-share sa subscribers natin, sa followers natin? How did you center yourself? Like, ano yung point dito sa binibini journey mo and after binibini na naisip mo, Chelsea, snap out of it, may corona ka, lalaban ka ngayon. How did you find your happiness in pageantry? Well, tita, na nakita ko yan kasi sabi ko, siguro dito ako magaling. So, dapat, kung saan ako magaling, dapat dun rin ako masira. So, yes, tita, I have to admit this, medyo may times na nadadown ako. Siguro normal lang naman yun when you're joining a pageant. But then, na-overcome ko naman yun because of, yun nga po, help din ng family ko. And ngayon, sobrang saya lang din talaga sa feeling na napupunta ako sa Albania mag-isa. Yes, kita may tapon. Pero nangingibabaw yung excitement and yung joy. 
So, siguro yun na lang yung pang hugutan ko sa laban ko. Chelsea, albin niya bang pinakamalayong lugar na mapupuntahan mo? Tita, first time kong lalaban. Oh my gosh, talaga mo, Chelsea! Yes, kaya nagahalo po talaga yung feelings ko ngayon. <laughs> Na-excited, may ka ba? Kasi first time. First time, mom. Naku, mabipinyagan pala natin si Chelsea ngayon. At bibigyan natin siya ng mahirap na trabaho. Chelsea, were you able to watch Maureen's um, pageant last year? Yes po, and even yung head-to-head -head challenge nila. Actually, dun po kami nagpo-focus ngayon uh, on my so speaking skills talaga. Now, I particularly remember that Maureen did not win any of the challenges while competing. Tapos sabi namin, okay lang yan, basta papanalo ninyo sa ending. Hindi naman siguro makaka-affect kayo. Ah, hindi. Hindi. Tuwan-tuwa nga kami sa nangyari kasi sabi namin, hmm, baka hindi binibigay kay Maureen kasi baka ibibigay sa kanya sa ending. But, of course, uh, hindi naman pwedeng hindi ka nag-prepare doon. And I've been also speaking to um, your team. Mukhang inaayos nila ng husto. Nagka-abirya na lang slight, yeah. pero mukhang, <laughs> wag na natin, wag na natin ilabas yun. Yes. <laughs> pero mukhang ayos naman na siya lahat. Kaya mo bang tapatan kung ano yung pinakita sa atin ni Maureen? Like, can you remember that crazy, skimpy swimwear that she wore? Kasi, oh God, yes. ang nipis, pero tumantuwa kami. Sexy, pero... Diba, nakaka, nakakagulat, nakakasindak. Yun kasi yung gusto natin. Paano mo sisindakin, Chelsea, ang mga kandidata sa Albania pagdating mo doon? Ay, hindi natin masasabing gagayahin kasi syempre tatakness. Tatak mo rin yun, yun, of course. Pero syempre, magkakaroon tayo ng tatak Chelsea Fernandez naman. Magbabarbie turn ba tayo doon? <laughs> Actually, may ginawa po kaming um, movement. Ah, so may tweet. Oh, okay. For my swimsuit competition. Yeah. Sana magustuhan nyo po yun. So, ipapakita natin in Albania. Pero, tita, I'm actually working hard din sa body ko. If okay. you can see, all right, all right. too thin tayo ngayon para okay. ma-show off natin yung abs natin. Ab pa lang, may isa pa lang. <laughs> Pakayanin pa ba? Dumami-dami ang ab na yun. Sana, Sana tita. Napasugyan ka ba ng buffet today? <laughs> uh, guys, nasa buffet po kami ngayon. Talaga. To achieve this kind of work. And then, I mentioned this before. Um, nung nakita tayo very briefly ng send-off, ang una ko napansin was a change in your styling. So, hindi na tayo masyadong made-up, hindi na tayo masyadong theatrical. Before kasi it was so vintage, I personally liked it because uh, yun yung aesthetic ko. But I understand na kailangan mong mag-evolve um, in terms of styling. Yes. I also mentioned that I'm looking at you now and then if I remember what you wore, nung send-off. It was contemporary. It was really modern. Ito ba yung direction nyo going into um, Miss Globe or medyo meron pa kaming aabangan sa'yo? Nag-aabang kami sa'yo at kay Gabi na Rina rin ang paandar. Yung talaga Rina nang pasapag. Okay. Trupa dyan. <laughs> um, yes, Tita. Bali maghahalo-halo yung look natin. Okay. Kasi we did that test look now with Mommy Bry. So, naisip ko why not medyo unique yung gawin natin. So, kind of mix talaga siya tita may Hollywood style gaya nga po ng medyo medyo eto yung pang generation ng makeup natin kasi, uh, gusto kaya pang generation yes, para hindi ako involved oh, hindi naman <laughs> kasi tita madami rin po nagsabi bagay daw po talaga yung old Hollywood style sa akin yes Chelsea <laughs> yes tita so, bagay talaga sabi ko kay Mami Bray huwag natin din ilayo or tanggalin sa look ko since lakado din naman pala ako sa ganong styling so why not um i-continue pa rin yung look and uh, I am looking at you now you look fresh you look so put together okay na ba tayo ayos na ba tayo in terms of like your treatments and whatever it is that needs to be done with your hair your nails everything yes, okay na tayo tita pero sa face ko as you can see medyo nag break out tayo ng oh, yes? okay. kasi medyo tuloy tuloy talaga yung makeup uh -huh. After Bilibili Pilipinas competition, nagtuloy-tuloy na for two months. Pero nagpa-facial na tayo, kaya medyo may ano pa siya, sugat-sugat. But everything po okay na from wardrobe, sa, uh, sa costume natin, and even gown, okay na po tayo. We're ready to go. Okay, my last question for you, Chelsea, is Miss Globe is familiar sa capacity ng mga Pilipina. What do you wish to bring to the table at Miss Globe? Nakita na natin lahat. Alam na nila galawan natin. Anong gusto mong maramdaman nila sa pagiging Pilipino mo, sa pagiging kandidata mo, sa pagiging kontesera mo na hindi pa nila nakikita? No? I hope that they see my worth 
not just as a candidate, but hopefully their future queen. I mean, I have so many um, experiences, not just in pageantry, but in life as well. And I hope na ma-appreciate nila yung magandang ka kaugalian ng isang Pilipino. Like, very gentle, maalaga, and respectful as well. Iyo na gusto natin maalaga! Maraming maraming salamat, Chelsea. Alam ko, hindi ka pa nakokoronahan ngayon, pero ayan na yung corona mo. Ang laki-laki. <laughs> Ba't bak tayo nandito? <laughs> Chelsea, thank you so much. We wish you well. First time na makaka-travel. Um, alam ko, it's gonna be really challenging for you, pero nakabantay yung Pilipinas sa'yo. Nakabantay ang pro-media family mo and uh, palagay ko, hindi ka naman nila pababayaan. Never ako pinabayaan. May mga Filipino... Um, like community or fans ba tayo sa Albania na aware ka? Ito, may isa pa lang po akong nakaka-chat, si Sir Roy. Sabi niya, pupuntahan niya daw ako. Tapos sabi ko, Sir, yes po, please, puntahan niya. Nako, magtawag ako. ka na ng mga oh, rest back natin yes sa Albania. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Salamat, um, Chelsea. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. At mag- you, mag mag uh, aabang kami at magpupuyat kami dyan. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Salamat. Good luck.